I just did the most totally insane thing I've ever done in my entire life. I stole a producer's phone. Well, it was, you know, it was just sitting there on the ground next to the hot tub after the rose ceremony, and I just took it. I mean, man, I'm posting this to y'all right now. Look, and I know this probably means I'm going to get kicked off the show, all right? But I needed to tell y'all my unadulterated truth. Because me and the girls here, we've been kept in the dark about this entire virus that y'all have been dealing with. I am freaked. You know? I mean, I am... I am freaked as all hell. If I'm really being honest. Oh, gosh. And I hope y'all at Bachelor Nation know my actions are in no way meant to undercut Chadwick. In any way. I mean, I still totally support his search for love. As I do all searches for love. I mean, love is love, right? And I have so, I've loved my time with him. And I, you know what? I really stand by what I said that I was falling for him. Like I said to Becca, we were on that group date in that tiny little village in Argentina. Okay, so this morning, they put us all behind this glass wall, and Chris Harrison is there, and he starts telling us about everything that's going on in the outside world with this, with this virus, and, you know, I start looking around at all the girls, and I'm thinking, oh, goodness, well, well, Sarah B. told me that her mama's got asthma while her mama's sitting at home. Scared to death, I was probably drinking champagne out of Cammy's belly button in Belize. And then, Caitlin, see? Her sister is an ER nurse. And she's probably running around some hospital in Georgia with a literal trash bag on her back. And I'm, I was hand gliding in Boca Raton for a suntan promotional one-on-one. -on -one. And then, I start thinking about Chadwick. Me and Chad was making out in water. And how he like, he put his hand on my ass and then the producers told him he's gotta move his hand lower so that they can edit more swimsuit onto me in post. And I just, I can remember feeling like, feel like, you know, I could, I could really be somebody you know, I could be a dancer or, or a singer. I could have my own catering business. I could. I, I just, I, I feel like, I feel so. But then I'm back there behind that glass wall and I'm looking at Chris Harrison and I, you know what? I'm thinking. F this. I know. I'm thinking. F this. F and BS. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what they tell you when you first come on this show? Don't eat on camera. Because that is how they make you to be the villain. That's right. That's the way they make you to look like the freak with a loud mouth, slobbering, mushing food in your mouth. You know when you see a hole spread on the table when one girl, she's confronting another girl about, you know how she's here for the wrong reasons? Or like when Chadwick's in the fantasy suite and it's just you and Camilla. And Camilla knows she is bawling and hiccuping like a freaking baby turtle. And you're thinking, can I just, can I just have one piece of cheese? Please. I mean, I'll, I'll be good for the rest of my life. I won't punch anybody. I, you know, I'll stay up till five doing those reshoots. Hey, I'll do the bikini photo shoot for the Radiant Water Company. <laughs> um, feels like a different life.
It was just three days ago. And you would probably all feel the same way out there. I mean, I, I hope you do. World. I know it's getting pretty late in Tennessee, but No, 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 I never self-pity. Mm -mm. <laughs> I swear to heaven and earth. I mean, the girls that I did cheer and that I did pageants with, they will tell you I do not self-pity. Mm -mm. You tell me to hurl my fat ass up in the air, and I'm going to do it. You know why? Because those are, those are my queens, and those are my sisters. <laughs> you know, I would, I would die. I'd be chopped up into a thousand pieces and fed to my enemies before I break rank. That's right. I am a military girl. Daddy? Graham, bastard, ripped my heart out. <laughs> so obviously I've been half starving myself. I'm trying not to be the villain. Trying not to let them have any reason to edit me. I've been swirling away food into napkins and eating it in the bathroom so that they can't ruin me. Yeah, but now, it's like, you know, you're the thing that's ruined. Telling us to go paragliding and, you know, here, eat this fried dough in Argentina. Well, meanwhile, you're not telling us anything. <sighs> you know, Tammy asked them more questions about the government, and I mean, I just had to blur it all right out of my mind because I was so angry. You know, I am so angry. I am angry about people's jobs. I'm angry about health care. I'm angry about being trapped here, being lied to. You know what? If that makes me the fucking villain, Feeling all out of your skin and half alive. I guess. I guess. Oh, shoot. Shoot, I think someone's here.